Hey you guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today I have three new products I want to show you guys that I have added to my foundation game and I think that it has definitely made a difference. Um, one is a, two of them, I'm sorry, are e.l.f. products and one is by LA Colors. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. I also have a lippy, four lippies to show you guys from Rimmel. So let's go ahead on and get into that right now. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to kind of share with you three new products that I ended up uh, picking up and I've been using now for maybe about a week or so to kind of like um, amp up my foundation game. So I was in Target and I ran across this Elf Luminous Putty Primer. Now I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. I had not heard of it and decided to try it. Um, it looks like it got really, really good reviews. And I will tell you that I have been wearing it for the last week and it is so good um, that I want to just come to you guys and pretty much do a review on it and just like put the word out and let you know I've started using this. Um, and you open it up like that instead of it being in a pump. And it is, it's just like putty. It's, it's like a cream color. The consistency of it is really, really nice. So, um, like I said, it just comes in like this little jar type thing and it is supposed to be luminous putty primer. So as you know, you put your primer on first. So I did take my fingers, I, my, my fingers are clean and I have just been, you know, rubbing it in like you would a lotion or something. I've been wearing it all week. And the reason I wanted to bring it to you is because when I work, I work long shifts. I work 12 hour shifts, which means my days are, I may have my makeup on for 14 hours. And I've noticed that when I'm wearing this as a base, this primer instead of other primers, although I do like their other primers cause I do wear um, two other primers by them. One of them is the mineral infused one. I do wear this one, um, but this one here, it seems that it keeps my makeup matte. And um, yeah, I thought that I was really excited about that for minutes. The next thing that I ended up adding is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now I'm a little bit behind on this. I was using the e.l.f. concealer, but I was using it in the stick and I do like that. Um, this one here I ended up picking up, but it was a little bit too light. It's not the normal one, but I could never find the one that was in like the darker um, or the orange one. So I ended up picking this one up and I usually wear it when I want to wear blondes and I want to like lighten up my makeup. I know you probably, if you watch me or see some of my pictures, my pictures will look a little bit different. It just all depends on the foundation that I use and depends on the hair that I'm wearing. Because if I wear like brighter here a lot of times I'll use um, a little bit brighter foundation and then if I wear darker hair I might wear not a darker foundation but one that is um, a little more has a little more orange in it and a lot of times the one that has the most orangey or gives me that glow is going to be the Fenty. Now if you're about my complexion I wear Fenty Beauty every now and again and I am 400 in Fenty but if I wear um, if I wear the the poreless, I want to say by Fit Me, then I usually get the 340 or the 338. So those two, they're very close. They're just a little bit off. As you can see, they're just a teeny bit off. Um, so and I and I end up getting these because. In the summertime, when I get in the sun, my, I turn like orange. Like my my skin gets this, and it's it, to me it's okay. But it, then I have to blend the two to get a match. Another foundation that I use, um, which is 400, also, and that one is Revlon Colorstay. I do like this. It is for com combination oily skin. I do like this one, but as you see, it is a little bit darker um, than the other other ones, as you can see. Again, it just all depends. This Fenty usually just has my face like very illuminous. Like I look and feel really good in the um, in the Fenty, and I love it. But I do wear um, store 
makeup as well. And the last one that I wear um, is L'Oreal and I wear their True Match and I wear that in warm. So again, these two are lighter. As you can see, that's the Fenty, that's the L'Oreal. And then um, the Fit Me's, that's those and they will go with this. So it just kind of all depends on where. So now that my primer has sat on, the next thing I do is I'm going to add some concealer. Now, I've not used the Pro Girl Concealer like before, I don't think, but I've been, like I said, using it this week with e.l.f. and I found that my makeup, my foundation has been looking good. So, you know, you get this little brush thing that comes on there and you squeeze it just a little bit and it will give you a little bit of it that comes out. I hope you guys can see that. I hope my camera is um is acting up acting right on you really don't need that much like or i don't need that much but i put it underneath my eyes and definitely around my mouth um y'all know everything's been closed so i have not went to my wax lady and so you don't need much of this stuff to color correct in places and like i said for me I have to use the orange. They do have a yellow. I'm sure that might be more for vanilla skin or Caucasians. And then I think they have a green. I'm not sure if that green is maybe for um, uh, darker skin. It just really depends on your undertone or whatever. And I do bring mine up against my nose to almost act as a contour. So I usually start from here to here with this stuff and then from here to here. And like I said, it's just a light something to start to color correct. It makes my makeup look a lot better. Um, so now that I've gone in with a color correct, the next thing that I'm going to do is go in with my concealer. Now this one here, it says that it holds for 16 hours. I don't know how long, you know, this one holds, that's the stick. But um, like I said, this week, these have been the three things that I've added to my foundation and I just found it like makes my foundation phenomenal. Now you get this and it's like a stick, but it has a sponge on it. You don't need that much. I've realized that like I overdid it one day and I had so much. I use my fingers for a lot of things. And I know people like to use their sponges. I have sponges as well. Um, I can use it just so people wanna see how it does with a sponge. I'm just more of a fingers girl. And I just dab it in. I'll probably go back later, but I do that because to me, it takes away that orange and then literally it seals underneath my eye and my eye looks, you know, so good. You don't see that dark spot that's under there especially if I've been working all night. So if you're watching this and you work nights, comment below if you are a night shift worker like me, because sometimes it is rough. Like when you get up, you're just so tired. You feel like you got those bags under your eyes, girl. You're like, ugh. So then I'm going to go ahead on and set that just for a little bit. Now I'm gonna set it with my uh, revolution powder and I'm not I don't use that much of this stuff I mean I literally just use that much and um, I go in and I'm just going to sit it underneath and just let it set and that's pretty much it on that I'm just like I said I'm setting it and I'm gonna let it sit there like that um, I usually don't put too much around my mouth but I will and you know I'm not a makeup guru or someone that's an MUA I just do what I feel works for me I do watch them from time to time I love watching time the infamous um, I stumbled across her channel a while back and I don't think we have the same skin or complexion, but I do like that she does dramatic looks um, and things like that on her channel. We need our water for our skin. I end up getting some Rimmel Matte lipsticks. I love 
lipsticks and I love matte so I end up getting four colors so I'm gonna show you guys those how they look today as well so here go where that finessing comes in at I use this one And I know it looks weird right now, but it once I put my foundation on, it will come together. And like I said, that is pretty much how I finesse. So now that we have had everything set, I'm going to put on foundation. Going to wear is probably, maybe I will do my Fenty tonight. Um, I'm gonna put that one on. I do like my e.l.f. brush. Um, and I like the Fenty because as you know, you can just like pump it on there like that. I like that and I just go in and we're gonna just start dabbing that all right and get everywhere and then I'll go back And as you guys know, I wear wigs, so I usually am going to have to clean up here. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my forehead. Again, I literally take the smallest bit. I just start in the middle and work my way out. And I found out that everybody like does their makeup differently. You just pretty much have to do what you feel works for you take you know different things from different people like that you may watch but don't be hard on yourself if you can't do it how somebody else does it um i think that it just takes practice and knowing how you want to look and what you what look you want for yourself um So see, like, that's pretty much all be in, like a close up. Let me get closer for you guys, okay? I'll tell you that I do like to do a quick or a small contour. I pretty much have a couple different contour palettes, but I always like to come back to my Black Radiance because I always feel like this Black Radiance is just like everything. Now, I do have a highlight palette from them that's really good, too. Uh, maybe we'll use a little bit of that tonight. But, but this one here, let me find a brush. I like it because it's easy. As you can see, I have pretty much wore it down. I always start my little small contour up here by my brow and bring it down. I try to get the inner corners to narrow my nose some um, and make it have a shadow so it slightly disappears and makes it appear a bit slimmer. As you can see, like, wow. It's, and then we can take this middle one and go down in a straight line. And then I just kind of draw that down so that it gives me a nice strong bridge there. And you can also use this time, or I have used this time to like clean up, you know, like your brows or something if it wasn't perfect. And then after I do that, I just go back over it lightly with my foundation here that's just to 
cover up any harsh lines and that generally works for me but it has like different color pinks and stuff in there and when i want to use something subtle i'll use these as like um underneath before i put on my highlight Maybe this one tonight so um i'll have to look it up to get the colors but and we're just gonna dab it down i mean that's how i usually do again i don't not a professional but i just add to me that just adds a little bit of color Again, I just dab down and then come back in a circular motion for me. Now, for this highlight palette, the 3D one, I may put some of that on top. It does have this really cute um, Vacation, First Class, and Paradise. Those are the colors that's in there. So maybe I will go in with some of my Vacation and put that on top. And you see it gives you a nice shimmer there. So I'm going to put these on. I'll, I'll come in a little bit just so you guys can, you know, see it better. This is how they come. I, I get these from Amazon. What is I do use this glue and I do use this glue these, to stick off of it at least. It's the same length. So I just go in and we're just gonna put them on. I've been wearing these for a while, so I kind of already know and I don't have to measure. But if you have not been wearing them, then you're gonna have to measure. And this is um, Wet n Wild and it is Lash Renegade Mascara. Now I love this mascara because I don't wear a lot of mascara because I just like to put on my lashes and then I just pretty much let it go. But this mascara, the reason I like it is for the stick that comes on this. I absolutely love having that piece at the bottom because you can do your bottom lashes with that. So what I do is once I put my lashes on, I go in and make sure that my lashes underneath or spread out and blend in with um, the fakies or the falsies. And then the next thing I like is that all you have to do is rub it under the bottom like that and it will get on the bottom ones. I pro at mascara, so I don't know if it's good or bad or indifferent, but I do like having that little stick because as you can see, it definitely helps you get to your bottom lashes. Move into some of the lipsticks that I picked up. Um, like I said, I have four and they are from Rimmel and I will start off and go from light to dark. So the first one that I'm gonna start off with is called Rosetto, or is that the line? Okay, Rosetto is the line. The name of this one, of course, they got the sticker over it. I hate when they do that. Why, people, why? Okay, so this one is 703 Vanilla Loving. That's what that is. Okay, so this, of course, I'm not lining my lips or anything, but this is the color of it. I'll tell you, it's creamy, almost like a gloss. So that's that one, which, eh, you know. So the next one is going to be Heartbeat, and that's 820, and it's a pink. I have worn this one before, and I do like it. It's very vibrant on my lip. I love pink, everybody who watches me should know that. So that's the pink, and again, like I told you, I really like the pink. The pink is super cute. Um, it's almost like a mauve, it's a pink with like, I don't know, a little bit of purple in it, but it's a really pretty. Um, the next color I'm gonna move on to is the red, and this is called, this is number 500, and it's called Fire Starter. 
and it is a red one so let's move on to that but I do like this color as well so that is the fire starter and that's basically one layer or so and it's very vibrant I like that one too so the final one that I have is going to be um, Blue Iris. And it's more of a purple type one. It's like a purple and a blue together. That one. So that's all the lipsticks that I have and makeup that I have today. So if you guys like the quick review and tutorial, then like I said, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are using the e.l.f. Um, putty or if you are using it with the Pro Concealer or any of this stuff, leave that in the comment section or is this something else that I should, should try to light up my foundation game? Let me know. For those of you that are my returning subscribers, Hey girl, hey, how y'all doing? Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys decide to share this video or any of my other videos on your social media platform, make sure you tag me in it. Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. The name is Beauty by Mark. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.